So often in interviews, the interviewers ask us how to write set multi-cycle path commands. So let's take a look. So here we take a look at a very basic timing path from flip-flop 1 to flip-flop 2. Now in most general cases, let's say if data is launched by flip-flop 1 on this clock edge, it will be captured after one cycle by flip-flop 2 on this clock edge. So this will be a single cycle path and setup timing check will be done on this clock edge at flip-flop 2 and by default the whole timing check is done one cycle prior to setup timing check so whole timing check will be done on this edge at flip-flop 2 right here but let's say in our design if flip-flop 2 only needs to capture the data every two clock cycles then in that case we will need to write a set multi-cycle path constraint to relax the setup timing analysis. So let's say in this case, if data is captured every two clock cycles, data will be launched by flip-flop 1 at this clock edge, but it will be captured by flip-flop 2 at this clock edge. So then it will be a two cycle path. So we will write set multi-cycle path to because we have two cycles to meet setup timing hyphen setup because we are relaxing the setup timing analysis and then we just give the timing start point and end point so from flip-flop one clock pin to flip-flop two d pin we know that the whole timing by default is checked one cycle before setup timing check so in this case now the whole timing will get checked here but we don't want that we want the whole timing to be checked on this edge so to move back our whole timing check from here to here we will need to write a set multi-cycle path one to move back whole timing check by one cycle minus whole because it's for whole timing analysis so always remember that we have to write these two constraint in a pair because whenever we write a set multi-cycle path constraint for setup timing analysis we have to write a hold multi-cycle path constraint to move back the whole check to where it originally was.